Okay, so I'm going to give this little hen um, subcutaneous fluids, and um, so the best place to do it is really um, in terms of her comfort and like how much fluid you can get in there, and like for easiness of not stabbing the wrong thing, is this little area right where the thigh meets the body, so right there, and um, you know, you can see it pretty easy because she's bald. Um, so see how easy the, the skin tense right here? That's why it's a good area. You can get like tons of fluid in there. You can easily get 50 mLs of fluid in one side. Um, so, alright, so here's the needle and then I test the fluid on my hand to make sure it's a good temperature and it is. So I pull up the skin and put the needle in, um, horizontal or perpendicular, not perpendicular, what? Parallel to the body. And um, just put the tip in so the fluid's going in subcutaneously and it's making a bubble, a fluid bubble. And, um, you know, so um, this is okay. It's the best way because you can get more fluids in and um, they don't find it uncomfortable. And if your hen is super tame and likes to be held, then this is probably comforting to her. And if she's sick and doesn't like to be held, it doesn't matter because, you know, she doesn't care. It's like she's super sick. She doesn't probably enjoy this, but, you know, she's being distracted by her sickness right now. So, see, all that fluid's in there already. So, we have like, I don't know, 20 mLs have gone into her probably so far. Um, and I'm using like a 22 gauge needle because... Uh, I don't know why, because it goes fast, I don't know, that's like the optimal one. Like any bigger and it makes the hole too big and like chicken skin is so thin that the fluid will drip out. And any smaller and it'll take like 8,000 years to get the amount of fluid you want in there. So anyway, I don't know, it's just like pretty easy. I guess that was self explanatory, so yeah. So when it hits 50 ml, it'll just stop and then... How you give the fluids in that leg area. No, poor baby. Poor, poor.